name is Jim Peterson. For many years I worked as a camp cook at station all over the Kimberley. Today I'm on my way to Horse Creek to cook a batch of Kimberley stock camp stew. My old friend had stockman Roy Wilson is waiting for me in Horse Creek. Hey, Joe. How you going, mate? Back on here. Oh, well. What are you cooking feed for these blokes out mustering? Yeah, I'm cooking a big uh, stock camp stew for them. Right on. You want a hand with it? Yes, please. Right on. First things first. <laughs> yeah, wash your hand. Right on. Oh, Oh. What do you want to hand with? Chop the meat up, please. Right. Well, you got to go. You go this side. I go right. this side. Get all this ready. Right. We'll have a feed ready for the blood. We've got a big day today. Yep. Could the only one to get back. Hungry. Hungry. Well, at least now. Stew, you said? Yes, please. Stew who? The Irish stew. Irish stew? No. Kimberly stew. This is what you, you call as Kimberly stock camp stew, don't you? Yeah, why? That's the no, which one now you're talking right, isn't it, boy? Hey? There are five boys out mustering and along with Roy that makes six who are going to be sharing this stew. If we want some left over for the next meal, I'll use a bit more and if there's no beef, I'll get someone to shoot a roux and use that. Whew, nice big fat stew we're going to have today at lunch for the boys. Isn't it? Yep. What do you reckon? Yes. I'll put the veggies in there. You move out of the way. Let's be healthy for the boys, and you move out of the way. I'll okay. put you in there. No. <laughs> These two years before they go off. Cauliflower? Mm hmm. Broccoli? Yeah, that's it then. That's it. You'd put it already, eh? Yep. Uh, Got the carrots here. Broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah, chop him up. Yeah, yeah. chop him up. Stew. Yeah. Right. You want to put some of these silver beets too? Yeah, put it. Okay. You know what? Oh, I'll breathe with you. you. Must have made a few stew in your days. Yep. Yeah. I think I ate a few of them too, eh? Hey? Eh? I ate a few stews you cooked. Yeah. In Dundon, Eda, yeah. we were Carson River, Lipo, oh, yeah. Fairfield. I wonder where the other fellas got to that all has been around the Eater and Leopold and that. And other young fellas down there. Mm. When uh, I was there. Yeah. Mm. Old Foxy in Namlananga. <coughs> Eater cook, you know, he used Jack. to take off, way, eh? Old Foxy. Yeah. Run out of grog, take off, walk, and then Russell knows that. Olive layer? Yeah. yeah. Put, e <coughs> put everything in. Potato, oh, carrot, Aye. potato, carrot, pumpkin, and 
Broadway and that colony. And you got this one again, look. Silver beet. Silver beet. All my stew I always buy basic like pumpkin, carrot, potato, onions and broccoli. But I'll always use whatever other veggies look fresh at the local store. Got the meat and the veggies all out? Yeah. What, what are you going to put got in a supply? That stock food, stuff? stock thing, here. That one. That one. Soy sauce, ABC sauce. Bit of curry. Hot mana thing. Chili. Mm. Yeah. And garlic. Um, right. That's good. So. And grey box, and that's it. So you're going to take Cut care this. of this? Yeah. So I'll move out of your way. Get going. Thanks. Thank you, Roy. Salt, a couple of pinches of salt, a ah. couple of thing of this, garlic, doesn't come out too good. Curry, a okay. couple of these, add four laps. And a hot one now. You reckon? We'll burn your mana. That's stock cube. Two of these. Soy sauce. Here, Jeremy. I chased the chook, we'll put him in here too. I said, Mike, not looking. ABC sauce. Yeah, just one cup. Two cups. There, that's up to there. If you fill it right up, it bubbles up and blow the fire out. That's it, Roy. Over there. Put me in the stew, you haven't I'll put you in the stew, eh? Oh, what? You'll be just right too, eh? Okay. Bit, bit heavy. Well, many bit... people would like to see me in a stew and pot. It'll be a bit tough, eh? You reckon it'll be a bit tough? Yeah, make like their teeth. Grind right, it. Put him on. Yes, please. Alright, well, I'm ready to go on. Stew, put him here. A lot of people got a different way of cooking stews. <clears throat> I'd prefer, especially when you're teaching someone, a young person, to use an open fire like this. A lot of people normally cook the stew like a damper on the coals, coals on top. But open fire in this drum, it's much easier for a young person to handle and it's much cleaner. So he's mucking around with ashes on top and coals. He go to check the stew, the ashes falls in the pot, cause he's in trouble. Or oh, him or her, whoever it'll ever it be. So this is the best way to teach anyone on on top of the fire. Cause it's very hot down here. The fire been lit up for quite some time now and plenty of heat there. And one hour from now, 
should be cooked and ready to eat. Stop! Yeah, it's, it's coming, it's coming. How much you want? How much can you eat? How much? How much? One more? I know you were eating too, boy. Joe's been out many years and it'll be round for many more. One of the best meals to have, I reckon, is Joe. Gotta wash your own plate. <laughs>